ahora. Okay, so today we are with Juan Carlos. Uh, I asked him to do an audio only episode, but he wanted to do video, so it means that he really wants to appear on this shit. And today's topic is going to be a little bit about how sex, how sexual life is going post-pandemic. And also let's talk about a little bit about the economy. Let's start with the boring thing. Let's start with economy. How do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel that economy is performing these days, especially here in Peru? Well, now I think that uh, the things, the grocery things are more expensive than they used to be in like uh, 2018, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, before uh, this um, president, let's, let's call him president. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's, in the, he's, in the, he's in the power now. Uh, well, uh, previously the things were like not cheaper, but I mean, you can buy like more stuff with yeah. your with the salary you make but nowadays uh, now that i'm i back and living up with my parents and i do the grocery shopping and for period well uh before uh, i usually just buy things and i didn't check the the receipt the the receipt for the supermarket but now that i check and i see that a lot of things are more expensive than it used to be. For example, the the oil, the eggs, the meat. Uh, well, we, we usually get like um, sodas and cookies too. And all these tiny things are like you said. Um, wow, this this is this is really really expensive for being like such a. Uh, a tiny thing like a basic the, like a basic need that a person need to call yeah yeah even the the bread nowadays i don't i don't eat bread uh, my parents eat bread but now the bread is like i think 40 cents each bread for yeah 40 cents 40 each, cents, yeah. each, 40 cents each, each bread and it's it's like uh it's really expensive i believe it used to be like like four breads you could buy with one soul four breads before i think five Five, right? oh, five, yeah, five, yeah, yeah, five, yeah, five, yeah. Five, yeah. I think five. We could buy five, but now we can we can even buy just two with one soul, two two yeah. breads. So that's why I'm I'm telling my parents it's really difficult to change the the alimentation of your family. Yeah, and I almost impossible, say, almost impossible yeah, to yeah, make with their diet. It, yes, yeah, totally yeah, true. yeah, yeah. It's it's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, you know, I I take in my breakfast uh, oatmeal every day. It's right. cheaper and it's healthy. So I try to say to my parents, hey, why don't you try oatmeal? To my mom, why don't you try oatmeal? And my parents said, uh, no, don't give me that shit. Um, <laughs> we, we, in my time, we, we used to eat bread and we were big. We gained muscle with bread. Don't bring me that but, shit. But the bread was not the same. Also, maybe you can explain that to them. It's like the, the corn that they used to put in mm -hmm. the bread was, a, a let's say, like a natural corn. This is kind of artificial. This is like a like a gene-modified corn. So that's the difference, too. Oh, oh okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. But... Yeah, he was right that because back in their days, uh, back in our parents' day, they they eat like a lot of shit and they didn't get too much weight nowadays yeah. for the bread, the cookies, um, I don't know what else. I mean, the water it's, it's it's different. I think the water in the in the bottles is it's totally different. But going back to the prices, um, and trying to like change the diet of, of your family is really difficult. Like. <laughs> Uh, instead of, I like, know, buy, buying bread, why don't buy some oatmeal? Um, I know, instead of yogurt, my family likes yogurt a lot. It has a lot of sugar. Why don't you, uh, like, try, like, Greek yogurt? But it has, yeah. like, less less sugar and um, no, not too much oil. I think that the best uh, way to cook our meals is, I think we, I don't know, have you tried the olive oil? The olive oil. I mean, it's healthy, but it's like uh, it's more healthy than, than the other one, the, the conventional. Yeah. But I think that it's have like I, I know you, you maybe you know more. It have like more chemicals that uh, yeah. Oil. The, the process that they man that they manufacture in the way that they manufacture the olive oil is not that healthy. And if you want to cook with that, like all the food, I mean, 
everything is healthy until you fry it. So if you have like yeah. potatoes, you, you do the French potatoes, now you have the fried potatoes, now you, you don't have a healthy food. And if you ask your parents, I'm sure they will be going to confirm you this, but before they they didn't use a uh, olive oil, they used to cook with animal fat. So instead of putting the oil, they will put the animal fat, and that was a healthier version of of cooking. Really, the the fat of the animal? The, yeah, they, they will like... they will put like, like uh, cows a uh, uh, fat, and they will just throw the fat, and the fat will cover the the base of the pan, so now they can cook on top. Oh, okay. Well, nowadays I think they. Well, maybe some families use it, and I, I, I didn't try that. Maybe my, my, my dad will. <laughs> There's will a statistic, then, you know. There's yeah. a statistic that they show. I think the olive oil became popular, uh, since the year seventies. And if you check mm -hmm. the picture, people that go to the beach uh, before the seventies, they are kind of rip everybody. And after the seventies, yeah. you start, you start finding love handles. Yeah. And also, not only like the the grocery stores, the food, also the the light, the water. I think it's getting more expensive. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we are like very water drinkers here in my home. So instead, like of boiling a lot of water, what we do is buy these uh, these bottles from Cielo. These big gallons of, I think it's. Uh, five. five five liters i think yeah. five liters is is the the bottle and it costs around uh 11 11 solids yes 11 solids but what i'm trying to tell my parents is let's go to macro yeah uh, the things are like you can buy a lot of things in a less price macro and there's like another uh, uh macro store i i don't i don't remember the name but in macro you can buy like a lot of things less price uh, yeah. it's like it, it sells like healthy food it's like a supermarket but you can save a lot of money there you can buy in bulk things that you know that you are going to consume in a regular basis but you know talking about water there are some devices that i know they uh, they they can filter the water so i don't know if you, if you have checked that and maybe you you compare the prices which is better for you which suits better for you who knows yeah, well, I I talk about my mom about that, and she said that the water that that is purified, it's not like um, it's not really purified. It says purified water, but it's not really purified. It, it tastes okay. the same. I don't know. I, I never tried. It. I never tried. Well, that that's a life. that's a good question. How do you know that it's really purified? Maybe they can yeah. just say you know this shit is going to make your water. Exactly. Uh... It, and it's like a little device that you put that you put in your sink. And you activate it, and magically the water is, is clean. You can drink it, but how do you know? Uh, it's I I don't know. Yeah. So we just um, stay with the regular water here, the, the conventional water. I, I have know. a question. Have you tried drinking the water directly from the sink? You know, just up in the yeah, the yeah. Sink. it was. Yeah, and why why did you change your behavior? Why why did you go to to Cielo instead of just opening the sink? You know, I used to drink a lot of. Uh, of seeing water when I was a kid, like when I was a teen, but then my my mom told me that they have a lot of bad uh, bacteria, and you're going to have like a stomach ache. So, uh, but I I was like really I didn't listen to her, so I was only drinking like sea water, sea water, and one one day <laughs> it was funny because one day she she have two cups of water. And she and she told me, okay, I'm not going to tell you which water is each. So drink the first. Okay, I drink the first water, and then I drink the first the second water. Okay, which one do you like? And I said to her, I like the second water. Good. The second water is boiled water, and the first water you drink is the the one of the sink. Ah, uh, sink uh, water. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. sink water. And um, since that day. I like more the boiled water, but well, when we were kids, I think when back in, in our days when we were kids, we we drink sink water, we we drink from the toilet water, and yeah. we we air, um, nothing happened to us. But I think nowadays, I think that if children right now do the same, like drink sink water or I don't know, play in the dirt, I, I'm thinking that they're going to get more sick. 
I don't know. So, so maybe the water is not the same. That's that's why you're trying to go. Yeah. Like, not the same. But yeah. Also, uh -huh. I don't know. Like, like who knows? That, that's true. But also, you know, I remember we used to drink even worse thing than the sink water. We used to drink a uh, triple X, a uh, punto G, you know, the those uh, alcohol. Yeah, I yeah, mean, the, yeah, those. Yeah. You know, once I, I remember we did a party and the average uh, the ticket, the, the average money that we charge to each person was five soles. So with five soles, <laughs> we were supposed to do like the mega party. Yeah. Uh, we we me, we bought a lot of uh, punto G, some uh, soda, something like that, and we make like a big. Uh, uh, We'll, um, we make like a big, big mix of that. Yeah. Uh, and everybody was, you know, like the next day, everybody was dead. That, that was, that, yeah, that was yeah. worse than water. Yeah. Yeah. You know that maybe you, you, you buy that uh, one of your days. Uh, but when I was like, it was 10 years, 15 years ago, there was a store near my house that uh, maybe you were in at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the night and we me and my friends wanted to drink but we were younger we didn't have a lot of money and in with my girlfriend we have like 10 solids so we go to this store and we ask the lady okay we have 10 12 solids <laughs> what what can we buy with this what can we buy because we, we, we need to, we have to drink okay guys there's something and the lady brought like a bottle of rum okay of, of cartavio Okay. okay. <laughs> but that shit was open already. So oh, it was a mix. Okay. So the lady, uh, uh, Julian. It was like Julian, a homemade, like a homemade recipe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, didn't get, you didn't get to see what she was mixing, but it was well. rum. And you know what, uh, what cola she, she mixed it with. So it was like a little bottle. And it have, I think that it have like 80% alcohol and 20% uh, soda. So, so with one, with one, with one, uh, with one cup, we were like shit. We were throwing up, and the next day we were like crazy shit. <laughs> so that's why you know that maybe remember maybe that woman she studied in this university La Gradia because in La Gradia they do that shit. They they, they use buckets, so they put like some soda, some alcohol, and yeah. they do their own formulas. Maybe, maybe uh, I mean the bottle say Cartavio Rome. But I don't think I don't I don't know if that's, you know, that's was, really the rum. I was a special edition for you. Yeah, maybe that was water from the sea. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But well, um, returning to that, now that many people are getting like their, I uh, don't you know how to say gratification, and they getting money. now a lot of money now in. In these uh, these these days, I think that maybe they'll try to to save them, uh, not in the bank because the bank have like a low um, rate yeah. percent. Yeah. Maybe they, they 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 can invest them in you know in a financial company. Or maybe in the. But don't you think that the average person is just going to blow the money? They will travel yeah. and buy yeah. some shit because yeah, that's, that's what I can feel. For example, if you consider this week, uh, we have a uh, Fiesta Patrias, I think in two days or three days, something like that, yeah. right? So a lot of people have already traveled since Monday. If you oh, go to the year, I mean, it's empty. So the question is we have two possibilities. Or these people are making insane amount of money already, or they uh -huh. are using the credit card. I think that's option B. <laughs> yeah, it's option B. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking with my dad today, and and he said, "Well, I'm seeing like less people now in in the 27." And I said, "Yeah, maybe people are traveling, people are on vacation, you know, with the, with the date." And he told me, "Wow, uh, they don't know that we have like we are in an inflation. <laughs> Many people don't have like jobs." So I don't know how they're they're spending too much money, and I said, well, that it's it's um it's your own problem, right? You can yeah. you you can expect anything. But you know the but, reality is that it's their problem. That's true. But also, if most of the people start to travel too much, because people travel always, but if they travel too much, then they are going to say that the system is the problem. Uh, how you how you? 
I mean, yes. if, if most of the people, most of the people, they don't know how to handle their finance. We know that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what happens if they really screw it up, you know, and they really start tanking their finance, they are going to complain. And then the government and politicians are going to have more power to say, you know, ah, you need, yeah. a, you know, you need to, to, to send some money to the people because people need the money. So that's when you and me, the average person who is working, get fucked mm -hmm. because, you know, like, like they take advantage of the pain of people that are handling their finance in a terrible way. Yeah, that's why it's very important to have like um, a financial education. I think schools or university, or even when if you are younger, maybe the parents have to to teach their sons how to use a credit card if you get the, your first one. Do you so, have a credit card? I have three credit cards. Oh, that's and, nice, yeah, nice. and I'm trying my best not to screw up nice nice, I, nice. I try my best i i have a, a limited amount of money that i have to spend and with that money i have three car, credit cards to spend it so that's that's how i'm handling my finances but nowadays i'm like i'm interested in invest nice. so well now i'm investing in myself that's but, good but i think i have to make like um to go higher, you know, diversify like, always. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and good. I'm and I'm uh, really pussy in in the stock market and crypto, <laughs> and crypto. So I'm just staying. I'm watching. Yeah. I'm watching, but I don't want to to dive in in the, in that pool. Uh, always, you know, I believe the best investments are not the ones that you will find in an investment channel or something like that. Usually, the best investments are things that you find in a random magazine that has nothing to do with finance, or sometimes you are talking with a friend and he 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 he, he tells you something and you're like, hey, that makes sense. So the best deals usually are not uh, in the news. They are just yeah. very high, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, there are some uh, YouTube channels that, that teach uh, financial education. There are some, I think, one or two uh, Peruvian influencers that, that teach those financial things about credit cards, about savings, but they don't have like a lot of views. They have like a really, really few <laughs> because people don't care. Don't people don't care. Yeah. People want to, to, to spend, to, to spend a lot. Um, ah, by the way, now that the International Book Festival, Festival is it's now opening, I think people, I know, should buy like uh, interesting books, maybe about financial or about improving yourself. Do you know that um, there are many, many books that you can learn uh, like a lot of things from uh, financial, I know, math, uh, psychology. There's a lot, a lot of things. And it's, it's it have like an, in a very good discount. That's the problem that, that uh, a lot of people believe that you need to read financial books when you already have money. It's like people, I mean, with the gym, it's the same story. It's like people say, I'm going to the gym when I, if I have muscles, if I don't have muscles, I'm not going to the gym because there are no muscles. So they don't understand that you need first to understand the financial game before you play the game. But people yeah. do the opposite. They play the game, they really screw it. They go to hell, they are on debt, and they, oh, now it's time to understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I heard that before that uh, people think that they have to look like nice yeah. or look like a thing to go to the gym. And yeah. that's stupid. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. I don't know. People are yeah. crazy. And the worst, uh, you know, the worst is people that that go to the gym and they they don't improve. They, they, they go, they start getting fat. They start. And that is kind of the worst because then you realize that I don't know how it's in your gym, but in my gym, uh, a lot of people are playing video games now. Uh, no, no, I have, I haven't seen that. Well, there's usually the the person that we eat with a cell phone all the time. Yeah, but playing video games for real—that's uh, no, that, next no. level. I have seen a guy doing the bench press, and between sets, he was, you know, playing. Uh, he will take like a break of four minutes, more or less, and then he will come uh, back. So, uh, uh, I mean, that is kind of a trend. That's why I worry because the, I believe. The new generations, they already hack their brain. They already control their brain. Not like they manipulate them, but they, they destroy their attention span. Yeah. Well, not that, uh, not that I'm like checking on everybody's gains or everybody's improvement, but there's like a, a guy in the gym that, well, 
uh, he's shorter than me. He's shorter than me. But uh, like when I started the gym, I couldn't make like a single pull up. Okay. So there's a, a machine that they have a like a step. Yeah. Uh, a step. So you can go. Um, it assists you. On, you on top. Yeah. It can you assist you your pull ups. Okay. Yeah. So I will. I was working with it. Now, now, well, nowadays I can make like eight to ten pull ups. Nice. But this guy that I think he was before or during the time I started the gym, he can do a single pull up without a machine. Oh. So I'm not comparing because uh, he may have like um, like a lot of uh, a lot of um, good things. Yeah. But. I think that it, I, I'm talking to you about one year ago. So yeah. if in one year you can make a one pull up without a machine, it's like maybe something wrong with you or maybe you are not like working hard enough. Yeah, I think the last one. Yeah, I think that you have a higher chance of the last one because if he has an injury, maybe he's not going to do that exercise, you know, but but if he's doing the exercise for a while and he keep doing the same weight, and also a lot of people are lazy to do the pull-ups. I mean, pull-ups is kind of an exercise that is going to demand you energy. So yeah. that's why they prefer to do the, the pull-down that is with the machine, uh -huh, the rope. Yeah. They yeah. prefer to do the pull-down rather than the pull-up. Yeah, it, it's not the same, but it's well, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a good it's a good exercise. Yeah. Um, well, uh, talking about investments, the gym is like a, a really, really good invest investment yeah. you can do. It is. Yeah, it's a really good investment. But... Um, now that we are talking about now that we talk about the boring things, let's go to the uh, interesting, interesting to, thing, to, to, to the, the sexual inter, topic. Inter, yeah, to we promise the things. We so, promise the people. Well, you talk about what, um, what uh, if I see some if I saw like a guy playing video games in their phones during the during the rest? No, but what I saw is like a lot of guys trying to flirt, trying to talk to a girl. Uh, trying to talk a, a lot of girls and they didn't know how to manage a conversation yeah. it's like these guys that they see a girl and and the, 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 the stupidest the stupidest question that you, that you heard was uh, okay this girl was, was doing like a leg press okay. and this like uh this this dude was younger than me like he, I, I put it like in his 20 21 and she asked the girl oh you are doing legs, and the uh, yeah, she was pressing with her hands, and and, and the girl like look at look at him and said, "Yeah, I'm doing legs. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about?" So I think that um, if you are trying to to pick up girls in the gym, I think you can start with a silly question, uh, yeah. because I think they know that if <laughs> a guy is talking to her they know that they want to pick her up to fuck, okay? Yeah, yeah. So I think the best way to to talk to girls, to to, 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 to approach girls, is like, um, I don't know, asking her, okay, what um, what, uh, what exercise are you, are you doing? Okay, uh, maybe you can do this. Okay, can you teach me how to do this? So try to be friendly with the girl, yeah? yeah? So uh, she's not to look. At, she's not going to look at you that you want something with her. It's that she's going to look but, at but, you. But you know, I, I mean, what you're saying is, is, I mean, makes totally sense. But we need to understand these people that are dirty. <laughs> these people that are crying milk, you know, for the eye. And yeah. it's hard to be rational when you have in fact in. I have friends. I have in fact more than one, two years. You know, like, like I mean, how can you? Ask rationality to the guy that is almost going to to explode. Really, you know, guy. You know, I, I heard I heard you that you said that in a podcast. I don't remember when, yeah. but yes, yeah, you said that you know a guy, a friend that they haven't had sex since before the the pandemic. Yeah, since it's still, pandemic. It's still, it's still, I have still, no friend. Yeah, oh. you know, the problem is that there are many things, many issues, but there was a trend that was kind of like the feminazi trend, but in men. You know, like like a I don't remember the name, but they say that, oh, we men, we don't need women. We just need to work and study and play with our friends. So they were following the trend, but then they realized, no, we need sex. <laughs> so there was a point, <laughs> oh, we, I think we need sex. <laughs> but, but that time it was too late because they lost the game. And not only that, now they have the charge there. Yeah. Uh, uh, many people are afraid of going to, to find a, um, 
a slut, a prostitute, because uh, I mean, now with monkey pop, it's not that like you want to risk that your your body either. So yeah, it's like yeah, they yeah. are trapped in a point in a point that is like jerking off is the only way that they have. But we know that jerking off is not the same. It's, it's like it no, doesn't work. It's not the same. I haven't jerked off since. Well, if, I I think it's been one year. Yeah, one year. Because I start training and I forgot about your goal. So yeah. I'm just, um, that's it, it's better. It's yeah. always, it's always better. But, well, that's true. That the, the monkey pop is, is a really shit situation right now. So I think that the best way, right, right a day is to pick up girls is in the gym. Try to be friendly with the girls. And the dating, the dating apps. Yeah. Apps, but, 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 but. but uh there's a thing uh because so many men are like are really needy they're going to swipe to everything right right yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, to, yeah. Say, to say anything and yeah. you are, and he's going to see a lot of things yeah a lot of things. it's like pokemon go yeah yeah, yeah. To catch him, I, i'm to one catch of him those you know i have my computer i have a bot that puts swipe right all the people <laughs> <laughs> and when I do the match, in that moment, I start analyzing because it's it's kind of easier because if you start analyzing each face, sometimes it's difficult. Yeah. But yeah. the problem is that that technique brings you a lot of trance because it's like yeah. so you write, you have, I per day at least I I, I do like five <laughs> yeah. trance. You know? Yeah, I'm more in Tinder. Well, I don't have Tinder, but when I used to have, yeah, there are like a lot of trance yeah. that there used to be, and they they are really. They are really like pushy. Yeah, no. How do I say it? Uh, okay, you look at the trans and you say, "There's no fucking way that's a trans. That's a dude," because the doctor made a really good job on him How to make him look like a woman. Yeah. Okay, so you don't see. You have to have like um, like a, a glasses or, pardon, how you know, a lupa. Yeah. To look at details, and when you see the Adam apple, you see. <laughs> okay, that's a. It's yeah. a swipe left. But uh, you know, the worst is when these trans they don't put their actual picture, yeah. but they put a picture of a woman that will be more or less their female version. So let's say that I find like a like a like a tia Valta, you know. So I put, put you a woman that is bold, but it's a woman. So yes, it's bold, but it's still a woman. So they more or less play with that. Yeah, and also it's 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 um it's a really mess because in their description. They don't put like trans girl or T girl or something like that. Yeah. They just put the pictures and you expect like, okay, he, she is a she. Yeah. She's a girl. But, uh, okay. So, but talking about the apps. Okay. If you want like to have, to get sex, I think that the next um, possible way is to ask the girl. I mean, don't be shy. I mean, you're not going to... To ask her, hey, you want to have sex? No. Just, would it be beautiful? What? Would it be beautiful if that will be enough? You know, that will be a nice <laughs> war. That will be, yeah. What, what, what I used to do um, back in the days, I used to say, uh, hey, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm just only looking for something casual and friendly. Uh, if that's okay with you, uh, we can uh, pack a meeting and we can do our things and it's cool. We can still keep in touch. We can still be friends and keep doing that. Okay. If the girl accept, okay, we uh, we meet each other. If not, okay, that, that's it. Uh, no hard feelings. The, you think, know, the good thing of your trick is that you are pointing high. So if she likes you, she will say, okay, maybe don't go directly to your place, but at least let's go to drink something. But mm -hmm. you're, you're being aggressive. So maybe she can just, you know, reduce a little bit yeah. the chance. But if yeah. you go to sub, I believe this is a problem of most of the guys. They go to sub and they go, oh, let's go and drink a coffee or something like that. So it's like, oh, this guy is weak. So when they when they hear that, they assume, oh, the guy is weak. That's why they don't want to date the guy. You know, when I start uh, the gym, I stopped drinking because my my game was uh, okay. Let's meet in a bar. Yeah. Okay. Or oh, let's drink some wine in a bar. Okay, you can drink and everything happened there. But uh, now that I don't drink too much alcohol, well, before I didn't drink, it was difficult to meet with a girl because all the girls wanted to go to a bar or go to a disco. Yeah. So, uh, so the the only thing, okay, and coffee wasn't in my plans. 
So what did I say? Okay, let, let's meet in a you know in a public place, in a park, or or maybe near a mall, so we can talk. Yeah. So you know things were getting better. Okay, we escalated quickly and go to have sets, but um, well, this is uh, like uh, this is like uh, my point of view of my experience. Yeah. that's the, the beauty of fitness by the way now that you mentioned if you do exercise you can tell the woman you know i don't drink so that's an excuse not to go to the bar yeah. uh, and then if you want to go a little bit more it's like i, I don't have the covid vaccine so i cannot go to a bar. i'm using the chile so far uh, it's working but yes as you mentioned it's, it's all about being direct and honest since the beginning and don't be yeah. shy but uh, again, it's easy to say. It's difficult to apply. No, yeah. What you have to do is apply apply these tips in every woman you match or you meet. Be friendly, but don't uh, in a way that she's going to send you to the friend zone. Yeah. Okay. You have to be like nice to everyone, uh, men and women. And if you want like something with a girl, just ask ask her, or talk her. And I I have like a lot of friends, well, a lot of women friends, and she told me that that they prefer like someone who is like um, honest, who is going to directly and she, and tell her what do you want, what does she want? Do you want to have sex? Uh, do you want uh, like be in a relationship? Uh, you don't want nothing, but then they he have to be like directly in the first meeting. When they first met, yeah, totally, totally agree with that. Uh, and also, it's like sometimes believe that if they flirt with a woman, if they start promising like a relation or something, they will have more chances to score in a sexual way with her. And they don't yeah. know that it's totally the opposite because the woman will start making questions, and then she will realize, you know, this guy is full of shit. So that yeah. was a, that was a cool one. Uh something extra that I would like to add is like I don't know, it's like. I don't know if you feel this, but before, it just before quarantine, I used to feel like all women were easier to score. Now it feels like younger women are easier to score and they are more like, let's just do it. And now older women are asking more requirements. Maybe it's just my personal experience, but how do you feel the, the difference like between younger and older women? Well, uh, first of all, uh, now I have a, a girlfriend. Uh, so she's, she's listening to this. Somebody. I'm talking, I'm talking worry, about yes. my previous yeah, life. But life. I think I think ago. I think that during quarantine or after or after quarantine, I think both younger and old were like easier like to get because you know uh, men and women have needs. Yeah, you know men and women have needs, and a uh, curious thing is that. Mature women have more needs than younger women. That's weird, right? But it is yeah. true. <laughs> it's it is true. Yeah. Because uh, before quarantine, I didn't. I, I usually date like younger women. Okay. There's quarantine. I match with mature women, so we meet, and they have more needed, more uh, sexual needy than men than than younger women. Yeah. And you can like. I, it was like my I remember it was like the first time I made like a mature woman okay it was I, my, I was a little nervous because I would usually date like younger uh. women but the conversation uh, flow really lively really quick and uh, we escalated sets really quickly because as they are more mature they have more experience and they like they know what they want if they want sets okay yeah. she will they will tell you if they they doesn't have a problem they don't have a problem if you if you if you tell her uh i want sex okay maybe not the first day maybe the second but uh mature women i think need to know uh need to know that what are your intentions with her more than yeah. you, more than young women because they have a lot of periods they dated a lot of guys and you know i'm thinking more... also what happened is that since they are older than you they assume that you don't want like a, a relationship so they don't yes. need to pretend that they are something that they are not so the hyper hypocrisy will disappear but sometimes with younger women they say if i'm too easy he's going to think bad about me maybe that yeah. is the thing yes exactly they are seeking for collagen 
for color. Uh, yeah, they're seeking they for color again, yeah. too. Yeah, they're seeking for color again. So, and so if you, um, they, like That's I said, funny. they know what they want. Yeah. They know what they want. You tell them, okay, I want to have sex. And they know that since you are younger than, than them, it's not, it's really not possible that you are seeking for a relationship with, with, yeah. with them because you are younger. Okay, you are seeking for younger women to have sex or to be in a relationship, but yeah. not with mature women and obviously not with um with with meals, with mothers. Uh, yeah, no single with, mothers. <laughs> with single mothers, yeah. No, be single mothers. Today I found a meme about that. Uh, how to be happy in life, date a single mom. <laughs> but, yeah, but, yeah. But, but, <laughs> but uh, that's the thing with, with single moms, that they are uh, smart because they they show you a scenario where you don't need to have anything serious with them, but then they start scaling little by little and they drag you to their world. Yeah, yeah. They think that they, they are overpowered, that they are powerful, they can do anything. But deep down, they don't too much. That's why yeah. they're single, right? Yeah. That's why they're single. It's funny that we are talking about this topic. That's the beauty of English, you know, that we can be more free to open just about yeah. whatever. You know? exactly. Exactly. That, that's a, that's a, you know, it was a, a nice conversation today. If people want to follow you, people, maybe they want to follow your posts or whatever. Uh, how can they do it? Well, I'm on Instagram or oh. My Instagram is Juanca.Vallejos. Nice. Uh, well, in Facebook, Juan Carlos Vallejos, I'm a normal guy to, to I like to, to talk about everything. That's nice. I believe we all will classify ourselves as normal guys. So that's beautiful to listen. You know, like yeah. I'm a normal guy. We all are normal guys, yeah. but that's true. It was a it was a nice conversation. Uh, I hope you you are available maybe next week to cover. Let me check some trendy news, something like yeah, that, sure. and we can bring it to the table to help the Virgin people. So uh, remember, you can follow him on Instagram or Facebook. If you want to follow me, you can go to Tio Baltanis. No, but I don't use my Instagram. You can just go to my WhatsApp that will appear somewhere here. So uh, thank you, Juan Carlos, for your time. Thank you. Thank See you, you next time. Bye.